Okay, anyway, so it's better if we start. We're gonna talk about the brake, what it is, and how to fix it. Hey guys, Martino here. Welcome back to this new episode. I'm the founder of the London Saxophone School where we help you master your skills on the saxophone with lessons, courses, workshops, masterclasses and whatnot. So for any questions you might have saxophone related, just let me know here below in the comments and it will be my pleasure to help you out. So let's talk about the break today. So the break is basically something that happens acoustically inside the saxophone and something funny happens in the airstream that you're pushing up that at a certain point something happens, something breaks and the notes, if you don't control it, just goes a little crazy, okay? And the break point happens on D, so that's on middle D, one, two, three, four, five, six with the thumb, okay? That's the break point, let's say. So the breaking point. So we need to do something in order to control that D. So instead of getting a, an annoying squeak, an annoying overtone, you get a full note. Now this happens a lot with beginners and it's very easy to fix, but you do have to practice it a little bit in order to teach your body what to do and you actually have to feel how everything is so you can produce a nice note. Make sense, okay? So it can take you a session, can take you a few sessions, it doesn't really matter, but once you know how to do it and once everything clicks in here, boom, you won't have any troubles with the break whatsoever again ever in your life. Now, today I'm gonna show you two exercises that I always do with my students who have troubles with the break, okay? But the very first thing that you want to remember, that you want to remind yourself is that you always wanna be pushing a lot of air, you know, from, from down here for your diaphragm, okay? Because you want to engage these muscles here in order for you to support the note, in this case, the D. If these muscles are lazy, you know, you're not doing enough, then there won't be enough air going through, so the D will be a little weak and you will, you know, run into troubles and, you know, the D will break and stuff like that, okay? So let's look at the two exercises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna approach the D from two different directions. So let's say this is D, okay? We're gonna approach it from above and we're gonna approach it from below, okay? Let's start with the first one. Let's start with above. So instead of trying to play the D for hours and hours and always getting a, an annoying squeak, we're actually gonna start on high E first, okay? And then we're gonna move into D. So the way it works is we're gonna start on E, okay? We're gonna play that for a few seconds as a long note, and then we're gonna slur into D. Now what happens is this E is an easy note, so you really shouldn't have any troubles in playing high E, okay? So as soon as you play E, you're opening up the channel of air over here, so everything is in place, everything is ready to go, and as soon as you slur into D, everything's already open and in place, and D can actually flow, it can actually sound good, okay? So I will practice this a lot, E slurring into D. And once you land on D, just be sure to hold it as long as you can, okay? Because the point of, of this exercise is to concentrate on D, not so much on E. E is just a trick to help you get to D, okay? So that's the first thing you can do. You can also do this starting from F, so F, E, and D. So before we continue, I'm doing a free saxophone class next Monday, May the 2nd, in which I'm gonna share with you three secrets that will really help you transform your playing, just take it to the next level, musically speaking and artistically speaking. And everything is, you know, with very simple and stress-free methods, avoiding any kind of confusion that you might have. So if you're interested in that, I'm just gonna leave the link here below in the description and I will see you there on Monday. Now we're gonna approach it from below and we're gonna approach it from middle C, okay? So we're gonna do middle C to high D, okay? And we're gonna do it in two steps. We're gonna go middle C, hold it for a few seconds, okay? And then we're gonna go into D. But before we play D, we're gonna put a gap in the middle. And in this gap, we're, gonna, we're not gonna take a breath, okay? But we're gonna keep the pressure going, okay? And, and that is super great because it will 
remind you to keep everything stable and engaged. Okay, so you play your C for a few seconds, gap, and then D. Then the second step would be to slur C into D. Now all these exercises are great and I will actually do them all in rotation, okay? But remember something, remember that approaching the D from below, so from coming from C in this case, is a little bit harder than coming from above, okay? So I would actually practice a lot E, to D just to get everything working in your brain and your inner ears and also um, C to D just to strengthen that okay now this can can take again can take a session can take a few sessions some people are faster some people are slower but it doesn't matter once it clicks everything clicks and you won't have any troubles whatsoever again so these two exercises are really great because they will teach your body what to do and you will really feel what to do in order to get a nice full D, okay? But I've seen something. You want to practice these, but also you don't want to be obsessed about not squeaking on D. If you squeak, fine. It's, you know, let it be. It's fine. Embrace the squeak on D, okay? Because I've seen that it can become a very psychological thing. So every time you see a D, you're just going to squeak no matter what, okay? So practice it, dedicate a few minutes in your practice session, and then move on with your life, okay? Eventually, everything will click and you will be able to play the D fine with no problem whatsoever okay so we're done guys i hope that was helpful uh, give me a comment if you have any questions remember to subscribe and to give it a like and i will see you in the next video take care bye bye